What's going on? This is Pedra. Welcome to another day, another video. Today I want to talk about your television. That's right. You probably already know from the title of this video. I want to tell you something that might piss you a little bit off. And that's okay because I'd rather tell you the truth than to try to make you like me. So how much your TV really cost? How much your TV really cost if you want to, if you want to really uh, uh, take a close look at it? Is it 1,000? Is it 2,000? 3,000 pounds? 4,000 pounds? You're going around and, 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 and showing off with whoever who has, has a bigger size TV and, and uh, about, uh, I've got, uh, uh, my TV is about 60 inch, mine, mine is 70 or mine is 80 inch. How much does your TV really cost? And I walk, I walk uh, all over all over London in or in the current roads and sometimes yes if you want to call it curiosity or nosy whatever you want to call it I see a lot of people watching TV and I've looked at the stats on this there is so many people out there watching TV and every day just numbing themselves with that TV that TV that you currently have it's not really costing you a thousand or two thousand pounds. What it really costing you is your life. It's costing you hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not millions of millions of, of, of pounds. Maybe not millions and millions, but depends. You never know. It might be even billions because you only have one life. You only have one experiences and you wouldn't really want to put uh, exchange any type of or any amount of money. Uh, for, for, for your current life or for your, for your current experiences that you have. So really, the TV, it's costing you and you're not realizing it. You're not realizing you come home like a zombie and you're tired. You sit down in front of the TV. It's not a form of addiction. Uh, I've actually made, just made a video on addiction. Maybe, I'll, uh, maybe you should go watch that one also. You come home, you're tired from work and you just switch it on and you just sit down there and you're just numbing yourself and you're just staring at the TV and really costing you your life and you're not realizing it. Especially if you haven't honed into or haven't handled your life and then you have a lot of bad habits and you haven't mastered your your you haven't mastered your your health, you haven't mastered your wealth, you haven't mastered your happiness, and all of that stuff in your life still not perfect, and 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 you are just watching a lot of TV. And I have to be honest with you, TV. Most people who watch TV are losers. Now, I'm not saying everybody out there, but most people, if you look at it, the people who watch a lot of TV are losers because what happening is you are giving your precious time that's not coming back to someone else is living their life and you are just witnessing it. Look, there is a fine difference between, between participating in something than just witnessing it. TV, all you are doing is you are just witnessing someone else is living their life and someone else participating in the activities of what they want to do, the things they want to do. And you as a person, you would have far more enjoyment if you just participated in that. And that's where life is lived. That's where life begins. That's where you enjoy yourself. When you go out there, when you when you when your sense of smell is working, when you are having, when you're shaking people's hand, when you're talking with them, when you're experiencing your sight from from reality, not behind the screen. When you when you have your senses switched on, the TV does not smell. It, it's it's not real. It's just behind it. You are just witnessing it. You are not fully in the experience itself. You're not really participating in the actual experience and it's killing your life out and it's sucking the life out of you and you're wondering why you have not got to where you want to go and why you are not why you are not getting closer to your dreams and why you are not happy you're coming home from work you're tired you sit down pull your leg up drink a beer and just watch tv all night and you don't really know how much is costing your life you go around you you, you show off about whose tv is bigger or what program I'm, I'm subscribed to whatever what you're really doing is you are sucking the life out of yourself and you're not really participating it would make more sense if you go out there in the real world and enjoy yourself 
TV is not is for losers. Yes, I can understand maybe once a month, so once every couple of weeks, you come around with your friend and you like a program, maybe you watch it. But ultimately, you should be so busy doing the things you love, so busy doing the things you enjoy, so busy doing the things you love and enjoy that you really have no time for TV. You really have no time for watching TV. You enjoy yourself so much. You're always out there. You're making stuff happen. You're talking to people. And when you come home, you're so tired from doing the things you love that you actually fall asleep. So really think about this. How much does your TV really costing your life. I know deep down, for those of you who watch TV are not happy, and I know deep down, you know yourself something is missing, something is not right with my life. What is that thing? Maybe I should be doing something. Maybe I should be pursuing the career I love. Maybe I should be going, going out there doing stuff. Maybe I should travel the world. What is your purpose? What do you have to do and what makes you happy? Because TV is not doing it for you. And I know by talking to you or by looking at you that you are not happy, really. You're just pretending you're happy and you think you're going to live forever and you think you're going to have this life whereas you, where you're going to live a thousand years. Let me tell you the truth. You are not going to live a thousand years. We are all getting closer to death every single day. And it's wise to use our time properly. And it's wise to really, instead of part, instead of just witnessing someone else live their life, instead just do the things we love to do. So deep down, think about your TV, how much is really costing your life? How much is really stopping you from doing the things you want to do? The time you watch TV, maybe you could sit down, write goals, write down the things you want to do, write your priorities. What's important to you? Or just... Or just put your mind in a piece of paper. See what you're about. Say where you want to go. Say what the things you want to do. Maybe uh, go out with your friends. Maybe do stuff. What is the thing that you want to do? And think about how much your TV is costing you. If your life currently not the way it is, you have bad habits, you're, you're in debt, or you are life is not going your way for whatever reason, maybe your TV is one of the reasons that's costing you. You come home, you have a lot of bad habits, drinking, watching a lot of TV, uh, ordering a lot of takeaway and things like that. Just think to yourself, look, what do I really want? And is TV really helping me there? And if you're spending a lot of time in your, in, if you're spending a lot of time watching TV while your life is still not so, it, you are making a big mistake. Okay, I can understand if your life is on track, you have bad hab, you have amazing habits, you're going around the world, you're doing stuff, you're making stuff happen and then you like a program and you come and watch it. No problem with that. But if your life is currently not where you want it to be and not, you're not doing the things you love to do and you're a mess and you know it and you, you, your bank account is empty and all of that stuff is really uh, disgraced, then TV is costing you. It's one of the reasons you need to take a big hammer and you need to smash your TV and just put it in a recycling bin and let it be collected by the garbage man because that's where it belongs. It belongs into the bin. It belongs into the garbage place. So this your this is your life. It's limited. It's precious. And TV is 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 sucking your the life out of you. And you know it because you're not happy. And deep down you know it. Maybe you can love to, uh, lie to other people, but you can never lie to yourself. So how much your TV really costing you? Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think of this video and tell me if you agree, if you, if you think TV is stopping you. I can 100% assure you that TV is one of the reasons you are behind in life. So get rid of your TV because it's costing you a lot. Maybe share this video, like, leave me a comment. The more people who watch, who, who watch this video, who also have TV, the better this video can help them make stuff, make stuff happen. And you can also help me uh, get more views for this video. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to sign up to my newsletter and get my free online business training guide startup, there's a link in the description if you're watching it on YouTube or it could be on the uh, Instagram in my bio. Go there, uh, sign up and I'll see you on another video. Take care.